Hey, good morning, YouTube. This is John from Space City EDC coming to you with another Sack Saturday. I got a sack today, Swiss Army Knife. This one is a, uh, called the uh, Camper. It's a three layer knife. Uh, and it has a uh, weight of 2.6 inches. A width of one inch, a length of 3.6 inches, and a height of 27 inches. This one has black cellular scales on it. It comes in some red. Number feature they call is a uh, 13. It is a uh, springback design, so it's non locking. Uh, let's go through it and. Uh, Find out a little bit about it. It also has a close relative of it called the Hiker, which uh, I'll show you the difference out there. It's got a, uh, instead of having a, uh, instead of having the corkscrew on the back, the Hiker would have a uh, Phillips. But, so we'll start with the back scales. We've got a, uh, I don't know if I can see that, if that has a, looks like it has a hole there. You could put a straight pin, although that's not listed as one of its features, but it has a corkscrew. It has a ball on the back, you know, with a sharp edge and a sewing needle. They count the key ring as one of its functions. Don't know why they do that, but they do. It's got the tweezers, which some people like them, some people aren't real fond of them, but they're okay. They work all right. And then it has a toothpick, which I don't use a toothpick for a toothpick. I don't use it for just about anything else. Uh, but don't normally pick my teeth with it. So then you're going to have a uh, main blade here. And uh, it's got a spear, like a spear point tip on it. Uh, these are about two and a half inches long from tip to tang. So from the tip to right here, about two and a half inches. And then you have a pin blade right here, which is about an inch and a half from tip to tang. So from here to here is about an inch and a half. These are great for doing things we have and need more control. So, it's got a nice snap to it. it. Has a saw, and these saws are really good on the Victorinox. They're great for especially like in the yard or in the woods, sawing small branches, or you could even probably do a two by four with it if you had to. We've got the uh, flat tip here with the wire stripper and the bottle cap lifter. With This one has a 90 degree detent and it's got the uh, snaps into place there. But, uh, and then on the other side, you're gonna have your Small uh, flat tip, I think it's like a three millimeter. This one's got some gunk on it here. But a uh, little bit of dirt there, maybe. Let's see what it was. But uh, anyway, this is your can opener. And these work really well. I use them all the time at work. Uh, as an aircraft mechanic opening oil cans because we have metal oil cans. But that's your 13 functions. Uh, go through them real quick again. You got the bottle cap lifter or the corkscrew is one. You've got your sewing all leather punch here. It's gonna be two, three with the key ring, four, five with your toothpick and your scale tools. 
you've got the small screwdriver that's six the can opener seven you've got the flat tip larger flat tip it's eight bottle cap lifter nine wire stripper is going to be ten you have your saw we'll count that as eleven small blade and large blade so that's going to come out to be thirteen and that's it for the camper like i said uh these are still available you can get them off of the uh website right now they're looking at 39 dollars uh the hiker is the same price if you don't want the corkscrew on the back and would prefer phillips uh so yeah these are probably great for Somebody who spends a lot of time outdoors or maybe in the yard or whatever. Uh, and it's a three layer, so it's pretty comfortable to carry. Similar to the Super Tinker, which is also a three layer and a real popular uh, Swiss Army knife. I carried the Super Tinker for years. Uh, anyway, that's going to do it for Sack Saturday. And that's a Victorinox camper. Probably the most notably known for having the saw blade on it. For those who need a saw blade. So, hope you guys are having a great weekend. Hope you enjoyed this segment of Sack Saturday. And if you like this kind of content, I do these about once a week or so, depending on my schedule. And I'll, sometimes I'll come out with other videos. But uh, anyway, if you like this content, please like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. You guys have a good day. Bye.